Hi, uh, Michael Reynolds here. Uh, this is probably the beginning of a series that I don't know how long it's going to go on. This can be considered as episode one of the the uh, status of Earth ships on the planet at this point. They've been going on for 55 years and seriously under the name Earthship for 35 years. And we have learned a lot. And we also know that uh, there is a lot to learn. Um, we, we have just been doing nothing but this for 55 years. And even, like I say, for 35 years under the name of Earthship. And... If I, if I planned this situation, it couldn't be better. That is, <clears throat> we've done seminars and academies and field studies and bills all over the world for many years, decades. And if I took any of our ex-students, our ex-interns, uh, our ex-employees, and Ask them, would they go around the world and do this? Obviously, we'd have to negotiate terms and cause them to do it. But what is happening is beyond my wildest dreams. Our ex-students, our ex-interns, our ex-employees are on their own going around the world and doing this. That is, that is the best possible scenario that I can imagine. And it's easy. The, the, we keep making it easier and easier. And so I could take, you know, I could take a group of high school students and a chainsaw and a sledgehammer and build housing. I mean, that's how easy it is. Uh, but it, there's a lot to it still in, in terms of concept. And the people we've encountered over the last decades have taken this and and they become infected and it's no insult to us that they want to go out on their own and do it that is our dream we want a million people to go out on, on their own and do this that's what we want and we're getting it in a few places now in, in south america in australia in europe in canada uh, all over this country we're getting it and it's, it's from our own students, staff, uh, interns, whatever. They are, they are choosing to go out into the world and do what they've learned from us for the last decades. And we keep learning. And so we're not having to solicit or hire people to go out and do this. It is happening. Yet, <clears throat> we keep evolving it further and further, and focusing it like a laser further and further. For instance, after all we've been through all over the world with many models of Earth ships and, and all kinds of situations, we, I now know, and I believe, that the most important thing we can do is make the most simple version of the Earth ship that we can and we call it the refuge now, and get those drawings out and get those buildings out around the world. And, and our county, Taos County, New Mexico, has a serious, obscene housing crisis for, for regular people. They just can't afford housing, let alone the utilities. We're going to get refuge earthships out there on a lease program, just like you lease a BMW. We're going to stamp them out like Henry Ford stamped out Model Ts. We're, we're going for this. It is time. Yes, we've got the global model, and we built them all over the world, and a lot of people want them. Yes, we've got the Encounter model and the Unity model. We built them a lot, and people want them. But the refuge is the Model T. As Henry Ford said, the Model T is the automobile for the people. This is the housing for the people. If you want to take a refuge and add, you know, 10,000 square feet of luxurious space to it, great. You know, but 
the multitudes of people, the majority of the people in the developed world need a very economical, very simple version of the Earthship concept. And the Earthship concept is, is not being argued with anywhere. You know, nobody's going to argue with the fact that people need housing that heats and cools itself without fuel. Nobody in the developed world is going to argue that people need water, that people need electricity, that people need to contain and treat their own sewage, that people need food, and that people need to do something with their garbage. Nobody argues with this. We're talking, we've stumbled onto an unarguable domain here. And now people are just simply picking up on it and doing it their own way. You know, if you want to add one or subtract one, fine. I don't see anything else that's needed for sustenance besides those six things. And all of our <clears throat> our peoples around the world that are mimicking us and, uh, and, and helping us do this uh, really are using those same six points. And if, if they, in fact, find one that they needs to be added, we'll pick up on it. In other words, we can't argue about the situation with Earthships on this planet now. There are interns, ex-students, and ex-staff going around the world and doing it, and we welcome it. And we, you, you can't take this thing that is this important and franchise it like McDonald's Burger or, or, you know, make it so that we get uh, $10,000 on every airship built. We don't want that. That'll slow it down. We, we can make enough money for groceries, building our own version of airships uh, and, and, and doing it uh, in our most radical way, because that's the way we tend to operate. Uh, right now, we can do that. We do not need to franchise and 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 form uh, businesses that cause us to to in any way slow down what is going on around the planet with airships. And so, if you see a building of tires, of cans, of bottles, uh, of uh, dealing with the six points, or an academy uh, in any country addressing these things, they may or may not use the word airship. But it is Earthship if they're, if they're doing this. And the Earthship concept has become a virus. Uh, Earthship has become a generic word. Um, it is something we want to keep fueling. We'll share, and on this very blog that I'm uh, getting started here, we will share everything. Uh, we will sell some things, but uh, we will do anything we can to help facilitate getting this information to spread like a virus throughout the planet because that's what is needed now. Uh, people need a refuge. People need a home. Even the wealthy people, their homes blew apart in Texas in the last tornado. Our, our, uh, they... Uh, the wealthy people in Hawaii, their homes burned. You know what I mean? Money is not going to protect you against what's coming. It is an earthship, a refuge. And like I say, get get a refuge and add a six-story frame building to it if you want to. The frame building will go away in the next earthquake or fire or tornado, but the earthship won't. Uh, so... Earthship is the word for buildings that address those six points, and Earthship is the word for buildings that are made of tires, cans, and bottles, and other forms of garbage throughout this planet. And Earthship is the word for a movement that is now going around the world with and without us. And that's the dream, for it to go around the world with and without us. So this is the beginning of a, of a series talking about the journey of Earthships as it has been and where it's going. And of course, that's tied into health and, and well-being. And that is very parallel to Earthships. And I think lots of people know that I got five years ago diagnosed with stage four cancer. 
well, I'm still here. And uh, I'm, uh, I have learned so much from cancer about how to introduce earthships. Uh, there's so much there. It's all parallel. I've learned so much about nutrition. I've learned so much about the energy on this planet and the nutrition and the food on this planet and the politics on this planet and the dogma on this planet. I have learned a lot. You know, I'm, I've got nothing to lose. I'm 78 with still stage four cancer and all kinds of other issues related to age and burning my candle at both ends and so on. But the thing is, I've got information and I've got nothing to lose. And so that makes me dan dangerous. <laughs> uh, but I want to broadcast uh, where we are, where we're going, and what we've learned as it evolves on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. So watch for these episodes. Uh, at this point, we'll call them State of the Earthship and go from there. And this was episode one, and we will set it up so questions can be answered. And uh, so if you have questions on this particular episode, uh, get them to us. And we are going to interact with the world on the Earthship concept and how we're trying to make it spread like a virus. Thanks, and I'll see you in episode two.